Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today is all about Kinky Studio Amplifier. It's not the usual brand that I talk about in this channel, but I hope you like it. Right, we have this ESM1 Plus amplifier here. It is the integrated amplifier from Kinky Studio. Um, being an integrated amplifier, it can drive a uh, loudspeaker, uh, a pair of loudspeaker from Asher Audio. It is the Mini X loudspeaker from uh, made by Asher Audio. I started this uh, hobby as a hobbyist. The first pair of loudspeaker that I bought, a serious pair of loudspeaker, is from Asher Audio, the pretty famous S520. I think it is still in production. So this pair of loudspeaker I bought recently is is really to to bring back the memory of the good old days. Right, and we have a pair of uh, EXB7 mono blocks here. On the left, it is an older version. On the right, it is the latest version. And we have this round subwoofer on the left as well. Right, um, the purpose of this video is really to show you um, how to use this EXM1 Plus uh, as an integrated amp, as a preamp, as well as uh, how do you connect this rail subwoofer to this EXM1 Plus. The source that we are playing the music is from SoundAware, a A300 streamer with RCA and XLR output. Uh, currently, it is playing the music in the SD card itself. So you know you can use it as a run endpoint, or you can use it as a SD card player, or you can use it as a USB uh, USB player. So it's pretty convenient for us to have this setup to test the system. And the M1 Plus is connected to this SoundAware using RCA and what the special thing with does here is to use this M1 Plus to drive the tweeter of the Asher Mini X and use the pair of EXB7 to drive the woofer of this pair of Asher Audio Mini X loudspeaker and at the same time connect the EXM1 Plus speaker output to the high level input of the rail subwoofer. Let me show you the connection at the back. It's pretty messy. So we have this sound away A300 RCA output goes to the channel 1 of the EXM1 Plus and the preamp output of the ESM1 Plus by using this pair of uh, SOMA cable, RCA cable connected to the EXB7 uh, monoblocks there are two different color the gold color is really because uh, I wanted Kinky Studio to make something special for me to celebrate the collaboration between us and Kinky Studio. And the EXB7 output goes to the Asher Mini X woofer connection, and the EXM1 Plus speaker output connection goes to the tweeter of the Mini X. So here we go. This guy comes with a bi amping capability. So by amping uh, means we have to remove the link between the loudspeaker. So there's this link that we remove. Uh, let me show you, it's on the floor. <laughs> Sorry for the mess. Uh, it's an impromptu testing that I did with my partner. So the link of the loudspeaker has to be removed so that we can connect um, two different amplifiers to this loudspeaker. It's a pretty nice pair of loudspeaker in my opinion. So again, I bought this pair of loudspeaker, it's really because of the memory. Okay, and the rail software is connected to the ESM1 speaker output. So the uh, this one you got to re re always refer to the manual of the software manufacturer. How do you connect the high level connection to the speaker? So according to rail software, connect the yellow and the red color signal to the positive terminal of the binding post, and the black connect to the black color of the binding post is a negative post. So this guy goes to the high level input of the subwoofer and the subwoofer has this crossover setting that we have to set according to the uh, bookshelf loudspeaker cutoff. Uh, the bookshelf loudspeaker has this frequency response and if I'm not wrong this pair of loudspeaker can do about 65 hertz to 22k hertz. So the crossover frequency will set it to slightly above 60 hertz probably 80 hertz so that um, there's some blending between them and we have the music playing right now from Eagle sounds pretty good in my opinion the microphone is facing me so I'm not sure whether this can capture the sound quality but uh, in my opinion with the sound offer 
uh, connected. It just makes the music more grand and with the pair of um, B7 driving the woofer of the EX of the Archer Mini uh, X loudspeaker, it makes the music sound more dynamic and more dynamic and louder in a quality way. So how do you have this EX M1 Plus uh, configured to output the preamp as well as the amplifier inside this guy to drive this pair of loudspeaker is by using this very nice looking remote control. So this remote control allows you to control the volume, plus minus, allows you to change the uh, channel. There's nothing connected to channel 2, there's nothing connected to channel 3, there's nothing connected to channel 4. Channel 1 we have music. And this remote control here allows you to dim the display as well, turn off the display, brightest display, dimmer and turn off. So there are three levels. And it allows you to turn off the display as well, or if you want to mute it, it's, as well, it's possible as well, mute. And uh, it comes with a special mode button here. Sorry for the off focus, my phone is... Oh, okay, we have much better picture here. So it comes with this mute, this mode button that allows you to change the mode of the EXM1 Plus. So currently it is outputting 1 plus 2. 1 plus 2 means... Uh, because the display limitation, we can only use number to, to indicate one for the integrated M and built-in amplifier and two is the preamp output. So one plus two means the integrated M is outputting a uh, signal to the loudspeaker as well as the preamp output of the ESM1 Plus is outputting signal to this pair of EXP7 monoblocks. So what if we, if we change this mode to just output one? You notice we are missing something. So the tweeter of the EX, or the tweeter of the Mini X loudspeaker is driven by the EX M1 Plus, and the subwoofer, rail subwoofer is connected to the EX M1 Plus, and we are hearing frequency above 2.2 kilohertz on the pair of loudspeaker, as well as frequency below 80 hertz on this rail subwoofer. So we are missing a wide band of signal that is not output from this EXM1 Plus to the EXB7 monoblocks. So we need to change the mode accordingly. Aha, we have the output 2. Output 2 on the EXM1 Plus has the integrated M built-in bypass and it outputs the pre-M output of the EXM1 Plus to the B7. And the B7 is driving the woofer on the bookshelf loudspeaker at this moment, we are missing the tweeter uh, music, we are missing the high frequency, we are also missing the rail, uh, rail subwoofer sub bass. It's because the integrator M on the EXM1 Plus is bypassed. So the correct mode to use is output 1 plus 2. We have the music back and it sounds pretty good. Let me turn out the volume. The room is not treated, but uh, in my opinion, it sounds pretty good. I hope you enjoyed this video. We will be sharing more videos like this to guide you guys how to connect the system. See you next time. Bye bye.